wild night in the 2023 NFL Draft comes to an end. Uh, there's winners, there's losers, standouts and fizzouts if you watch some of our other latest um, kind of things that we put out for the Sports Beat podcast. But, uh, yes, I think we got to touch on it, guys. There was a lot of teams here that, you know, or a couple of teams, rather, that you kind of sit and scratching your head there and your other teams that you're kind of sitting there and you're like, you absolutely nailed this first round. So let's start with the winners. We're going to go ahead and start with, uh, let's, I'll go to... I go to Hunter because I know I've been going to Danny all night or most of it. Oh, putting putting me on the spot early. Um, I got up prepared, homeboy. Yeah, I, I got to go Philadelphia. I mean, I think getting Nolan Smith, Jalen Carter um, t- at ten and thirty is very very impressive. Uh, Howie Roseman for as much bad that he does he's done some more good in the past than or in recent memory so yep. philadelphia has had a great draft um but there are a lot of you know they i mean they still should have maybe targeted secondary a little bit but i think philadelphia wins the draft tonight um houston was a close second just with the talent they got i'm not sure how cj stroud will do it with uh t- with houston um but for now philadelphia is my winner I'm taking Houston. I think that, you know, Andrew, you said it right away. They went and they got their guy. They did what they had. They got two absolute dogs. I mean, they got arguably the number one and potentially the number two player in the draft. Uh, It's just, it's insane to think of what they can, what they did tonight. I don't know if it's ever been done before. It feels like it probably hasn't been. Uh, I love the move. I, I Philadelphia had a great night, uh, and I'm just I I. But I love the Houston Texans. Just they swung for the fences tonight. I uh, I absolutely agree on that uh, on both of those. I mean, you got two teams right there. I mean, the Eagles that just look like they're going to go ahead, and uh, I. <laughs> Their D-line is going to be tough, uh, especially with what things have gone on there. I, I'm going to go with a team that um, I'm, 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 I'm going between two teams. I'm actually I'm going to go with our hometown Vikings. Now, I know that we are all probably going to be, you know, stomping on the walls, throwing things uh, because they didn't go up and get Jordan Addison. But at the end of the day, I still felt like, uh, or I didn't go up and get Joy Porter Jr., excuse me, but getting Jordan Addison in that particular spot, I was over-enthused with. Uh, I really feel like this was a pick that um, it needed to happen at 87. This is a plenty of a deep corner class. You don't need to go get a guy right away. I mean, I've, I've seen Riley Moss, a guy that goes in the fourth round that I'm really comfortable with getting there. Uh, I think that Quasi and a company, they, they really were in a position where you lose Adam Thielen, you're probably going to lose Dove and Cook uh, in the next couple of days. Um, there needed to be something that happened for that wide receiver room. Don't get me wrong. I love guys. Uh, Jalen Naylor, I think, is going to be a bigger deal than a lot of people are giving him credit for. Um, you know, and I really feel like uh, even at number three wide receiver, um, you know, K.J. Osborne is that dude. But overall, you needed to make a move for a guy or at least get a guy that could take over for Adam Thielen and keep the pressure off of J.J. I, I honestly think Jordan Addison is going to do a way better job of that doing of keeping the pressure off J.J. this year than Adam Thielen did last year. So immediate upgrade for the Vikings at wide receiver. Also, the Saints, like I know, their, their defensive line got completely dismantled um, basically by people in their own division, teams in their own division, um, you know, like the like the Panthers and whatnot. So honestly, uh, or excuse me, the Falcons rather. And so I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, what Brian Bruzzi does for the Saints. I think he's a guy that on the inside, he could be a, a star player. Reminds me a lot of Sharif Floyd, a guy that, you know, uh, he's got stardom written on him. I think he's got a really good story too. So, um, well, lo- losers uh, <laughs> or, stat- or fizz outs if you follow our other segment. Uh, Dan, take us away with your first loser. Uh, people named Will, not last named Anderson. <laughs> what what happened I that that is my second biggest mystery of the night is what what did team see that they didn't like in Will Anderson well, it had see. to have been something on game tape there's no way that this was something that came out of out of out of what we've seen in terms of scouting he threw the ball extremely well at the combine I thought he had a good pro day. There has to be something between the ears that teams picked up on and didn't like. Uh, so Will Ander- Will not Will Anderson. Will's not named Anderson, uh, obviously meaning Will Will Levis. 
that one, that he's a big time loser. This is a guy who, going into the night, I thought he was the third quarterback taken, and I think a lot of other people did too. Uh, I am I'm shocked that he fell out of the first round. Mm-hmm. Me too. To me, it's Arizona. Um, Ooh. I just don't understand with all the needs, with all the everything you have, you trade down. Great move, right? Getting an extra first-round pick. Great, great pick. Trading nine spots from three to 12. Then you trade up for a guy that's going to be there anyways in Paris Johnson. I just don't understand. And you have to give more ammo to uh, Detroit. I just don't understand it. And... Arizona's just, I mean, I, I, I don't know. They, they've been confusing to me for a long time. But uh, Arizona did not have a good draft. I mean, close seconds was uh, was Detroit. I just didn't understand what Detroit did, um, drafting a quarterback and then, or uh, uh, excuse me, running back and then a, uh, and then uh, who else did they take? The Jack Campbell. Yeah, the, the Jack, Jack Campbell. Campbell. So um, Detroit struggled tonight. Um, Arizona struggled tonight. Green Bay struggled tonight. A lot of teams struggled tonight. I think Washington struggled tonight. Um, but Arizona just is confusing to me. When you could have got a guy 12, you don't trade up for a guy like that. Yep, I absolutely agree. I think the draft, all teams have their kind of way of doing things uh, and going about things. But overall, uh, I felt like this was a, a position where, you know, there were teams that had their, their specific needs that they wanted to go after, there were, and there were some picks that you were like, you could have gotten him if you would have stayed and pick, uh, stuck in pick, or if you would have traded back a little bit, you still could have gotten that player. So, no, I absolutely agree. Well, i got to thank you guys so much for uh, coming on for tonight. Uh, I've really appreciated uh, that you guys, uh, all the